In this video I'll be showing you how to fix black screen issues and graphics problems with Hogwarts Legacy on a Windows 11 and Windows 10 computer. So when it comes to fixing graphical issues with a game, the first thing that you want to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You now need to expand display adapters and you will then see your graphics card. So I've got an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I would need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for a GTX 1660 Super graphics card. So I will pop some links in the description below on how you can update your graphics card if you're not sure on how to do this. So now that you've updated your driver for your graphics card, the next important thing to do is also ensure you have the latest DirectX files installed on your Windows computer as well. So there's two ways to go about updating DirectX. So the first way is to update DirectX 12 and to do this you need to do it through Windows Updates which you can do by right clicking on the start menu, going on settings, going to update and security and then just clicking on check for updates button. If you do have a feature update available then download and install that as well. The next way to download all previous versions of DirectX, so not DirectX 12 but DirectX 11, 10, 9 etc, you need to click on the link that's in the description below to go to the Microsoft website. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You then need to select your language and you then need to click on download. Once the file has finished downloading go ahead and run the setup file. You then need to agree to the terms if you do click on I accept and then next. If you want to install the Bing bar then keep this option here ticked, if not then untick it and then click on next again. It will now check to see if there are any new DirectX files available for your Windows computer. If new files or a new DirectX version is available it will then download and install it. As you can see I already have the latest files on my computer so I'm all good to go. I can now click on finish. So now that you've updated your graphics card driver and also DirectX, go ahead and try Hogwarts Legacy again and see if that resolved the black screen or graphical issues you were having. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game. You now need to open up the Hogwarts Legacy folder and before we go any further I just want to say I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that I've done on how you can fix crashing issues with Hogwarts Legacy. So if you do unfortunately encounter any crashing, freezing or other problems with the game then check out that guide in the description below. So now you're in the location where you installed the game, go ahead and right click on the Hogwarts.exe and then go to properties. You now need to select compatibility and you then need to tick the option that says disable full screen optimizations and then click on apply and ok. Once you've done that go ahead again and launch the game and see if that helped resolve the problems that you're facing. If that didn't work then you now need to completely close down file explorer and the next thing that you need to do if you have an Nvidia graphics card is right click on your desktop and then go to the Nvidia control panel. I will also show you what you need to do with an AMD graphics card in a second. So you need to go to set up G-Sync and you then need to untick this option here that enables G-Sync. Once you've done that go ahead and click on apply and your screen will maybe go black for a few seconds. If it does just wait and you then need to click on yes. So as you can see I have now disabled G-Sync. If you do not have the option to disable G-Sync don't worry it just means your monitor doesn't support it. So if you have an AMD graphics card you need to right click on your desktop and then go to the AMD Adrenaline Edition software. You now need to click onto the settings cog and then the display tab and you will now see the option that says AMD FreeSync. You need to toggle this to disabled. So now that you've disabled either FreeSync or G-Sync go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped resolve the issue. If that didn't work then the next thing that you need to do if you have an Nvidia graphics card is open up File Explorer and you then need to type in local app data with the percentage symbol at the start. And you then need to do the percentage symbol at the end and press enter. You now need to scroll down until you come across Nvidia folder and then open up this folder. You then need to go into the DX cache folder and then go control and A within the folder, right click and then go delete. You then need to go skip if you do have an error, 
This just means that the file is currently in use. You then need to go back, go into the GL folder and then delete everything within there and then go back to Nvidia and then go back to local. You now need to open up the Nvidia Corporation folder and if you do have an NV cache folder in here, then you need to delete the files within that as well. If you have an AMD graphics card, you need to right click on your desktop and then go to AMD software. You then need to go to graphics tab and then scroll down. You will then see the reset shaders cache option. You might have to expand advanced here as well. So go ahead and click on this option and then go OK. So now that we've cleared the cache for our Nvidia and AMD graphics card, go ahead again and launch Hogwarts Legacy and see if that will solve the problem. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in disk cleanup. You now need to open up disk cleanup and you then need to select your C drive and click on OK. You now need to deselect everything within this area here and you then need to tick the option that says DirectX Shader Cache. Once you've selected this option only, go ahead and click on OK and then delete files. Once that's finished clearing up the DirectX files, go ahead again and launch Hogwarts Legacy. So the next few options that I'm going to show you now are actually within the game. So I'm now going to launch Hogwarts Legacy and show you a few settings within the game that you can change to help resolve some of those graphical issues. Alrighty, once you have the game open, you now need to right click on your mouse to open up settings. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the left hand side here and select the very top option to open up the display options. So you now need to ensure that your window mode is set to windowed full screen. You then also need to ensure you have the correct monitor selected, so your main monitor. Don't click on default, actually click onto your monitor. So the next option that you want to change is the anti-analyzing mode. So mine's currently on low. If you want to have a sharper, better picture, then you want to change this to high. However, be warned, if your graphics card isn't very good, then you might struggle on this setting, as it will require quite a bit from your graphics card. So you might need to have a little play around with this. I have done a video and a guide on how you can show the FPS within Hogwarts Legacy, which I will pop a link in the description below. Next, you have upscale type. So as you can see, mine's currently on the AMD. You actually want to change this to none. You now need to ensure that rendering resolution is on 100%. So now that you've changed all those options, go ahead and scroll down more. And if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you want to change the reflex low latency to off. And you then need to scroll down more. The frame rate, this is up to you. You can either lock it to 60 FPS, which will then give you a smoother gameplay, or you can change it up slightly, or go with uncapped. It's up to you on that option there. So if you scroll down more, we now have motion blur. So you want to turn this option off here. You also want to turn off the depth of field, and you want to turn off the next option, the chromatic option, and then film grain. You now need to also ensure that you have the correct GPU selected. So you can see that I have two different options, and I've got my GTX 1660 Super selected, which is correct. So now that you change those settings, go to the left hand side here and click on the next option, which is the graphics options. So you can either keep this on recommended, but if you do, just have a little scroll through and ensure that you are happy with all the options there, which medium is absolutely fine for my PC. If you scroll down and you have ray tracing turned on though, turn these options off. So now that you've turned off ray tracing within the graphics options, you need to go down to the accessibility option, which is this option here on the left hand side. And you then need to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you come across high contrast text and high contrast gameplay. Make sure that these two options are off as well, as they can make the game appear blue or green one when you're trying to play the game. So that now brings me to the end of the in-game graphics settings. I hope this video has helped you out and fixed the graphical issues and black screen problems you've been having with Hogwarts Legacy. If you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.